This is prayer on the 43rd week of 1997. In 1977, producer-director George Lucas created the Star Wars trilogy and changed the way we looked at movies. Now, 20 years later, using new digital technology, Lucas and his creative teams at Lucasfilm, THX, Skywalker Sound, and Industrial Light and Magic have completely restored, enhanced, and added to these classic movies to create the Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition. For the trilogy's third installment, Return of the Jedi, Lucas supervised the addition of an elaborate new musical sequence, as well as improvements for one of the film's key creatures and the inclusion of brand new footage and music for the film's ending. In Jedi, we've um, made uh, several changes. When they go out to the Sarlacc pit, uh, before there was um, just a couple of tentacles and there was kind of a funny mouth with a few spikes sticking out of it, but it wasn't, there wasn't anything alive about the whole thing. And so what we've managed to do is take a, and create a kind of a beak that comes out and attacks him, and uh, more tentacles, and, and it just looks much more realistic and much more threatening, which I think helps that scene considerably. In the Jabba the Hutt scene, there was a little musical number, which we never really had the time to shoot. Uh, when we were doing it, the production was running behind, everybody was racing, we managed to catch a couple of shots of uh, the band, and we put a little bit of music in it, but it was meant originally to be a big musical number. Uh, which I thought would be funny in the middle of a Star Wars film. Also, some of the puppets that we used were very static in how they could move. The state-of-the-art animatronics had only reached a certain level. Cy Snoodles couldn't really open her mouth, she couldn't lip-sync properly, her eyes didn't move. It was, you know, it was a very complex creature to develop. And uh, I think this gave us the opportunity to actually open that up. It's a matter of, of really sculpting the characters in the computer, I mean, similarly to how you would out of clay. In fact, the computer graphic characters, we, we approach them a lot the way you would approach an animated drawing character, but they really are much more like puppets. We constantly find that we run into the limitations that you would typically encounter in building a puppet. They won't bend right, or they, their mass isn't right, or they're just the kind of things that puppeteers have been fighting for years. So it's, it's as if we build these puppets, but then we turn them over to traditional animators to, to create the performance. So it's kind of a hybrid. We've added one new character that they didn't have the time to actually develop on, on the third film, the Yasm. And uh, he acts as a counterpoint to Sai, and they have a little duet. And it's, it's, now it's just a fun musical number. I think it adds more of the, the atmosphere and the quality that I was looking for originally in the, in the Java sequence. George has changed the lengths in some of these films for the reissue because of his improved animatics and so on. And it required some, some changes in the music, mostly additions and subtractions of a small sort. The only thing I had to re-record for, for this new trilogy was a, a short end finale for the third Return of the Jedi, the very, the very, very end of the film where George created a new scene of celebrating. And um, he had some ideas for, for new music there and, and gave me a film without any sound but with a tempo, with, with the Ewoks sort of dancing and reacting and reveling, you know, in their success. The, the digital technology frees you up, especially in a fantasy film like this, in ways that are... Um, you know, basically overwhelming. 
I mean, you just, you could think of things, you could write things, but it's very hard to make that literal and make it real. And digital technology is the thing that's going to allow that whole uh, medium, which is science fiction and fantasy and film, to flourish as it never has before. Now, sit back and get ready to experience George Lucas's definitive vision of Return of the Jedi, the third installment in the Star Wars trilogy special uh, edition. Excuse me. Excuse me once again.